Hello, everyone. Welcome back. And welcome, I think, to the first time to our boardroom, Brian. Brian, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Brian Phillips. I'm the director of um, product marketing for the Poly Video Conferencing Solutions as part of HP. And I think of, of all the companies that I cover, Poly more than anyone knows this world, <laughs> right? <laughs> the, the video conferencing meeting room world. How do we connect people in this room to people who are not in this room. That's been the challenge for years and years and years. And, and it was great to see you at Infocom. We had a long booth tour. There was a lot you, you showed me, but I need help because there were two things in particular. This is this is where I, I, I don't want to say play dumb. I'm just I'm just dumb sometimes. You know, the cameras I can wrap my heads around. I know what they are. They, the, you know, the speakers, the microphone, the headsets. But there were two black boxes you showed me with ports in them. And I kind of feel like they might be the most important things we talked about. So can you please help me figure out what, the, what they're all about? A good question, because in, in a sense they are. And we, we've been so busy introducing new cameras and video bars and other kind of devices that you see in the room. But at the end of the day, it's kind of the, the engine behind it that's crafting that experience. It's pulling all those different devices together and delivering a great experience that's kind of the most important. And that's what we were really focused on at Infocom with our new Studio G9 Plus MTR and Windows solution, as well as our G Studio G62 uh, kind of modular video conferencing solution. So let's start with this one. And, and you know, I, I just thought we just get a video bar and we're done, right? Isn't that the, that's all there is to it? Well, and in some rooms, absolutely, uh, that can be a great option. A lot of our customers really prefer that kind of deployment model. You just plop the video bar there up on the display. It's running Teams or Zoom or Google Meet or other apps. You got a controller on the table. Away you go and, and everything is good. But we also have a lot of customers who prefer either a more kind of modular configurable approach or prefer a Windows-based solution for a lot of reasons, right? For uh, whether security reasons, management reasons, functionality reasons, they prefer, especially in a Teams environment, Microsoft Teams on Windows. And so this is kind of our next gen version of that solution. You know, obviously being part of HP, uh, we've had full solutions based on Microsoft Teams on Windows for a while, but this was really the first time that the Poly Collaboration teams and the HP Compute teams really worked together to kind of co-develop a complete solution around this. I see. So this is this is the brains behind the system. This is running, actually, I guess it's running Windows and running yes. Microsoft so Teams. so it is running Windows. Yeah. So, but it's really, I mean, it's it's Windows, but it's actually much more like an appliance. The way that Microsoft has really designed MTR on Windows, it's much more of an appliance solution. It's running Windows IoT. It is not meant as just a general compute device. And I think that comes across not only in the software and the way that it works, but also in actually the compute itself. So in some ways, it looks very much like our desktop compute devices that we just sell for general purpose applications, but it really is custom designed, especially in terms of the ports and in terms of some of the manageability options for meeting room collaboration. So for example, it's got uh, not only your regular ethernet port on it to connect it to the network, but it's got a second ethernet port that that controller connects to. So the one that's sitting next to it there, we call it our TC10 controller. It connects directly to the compute just with a single ethernet cable. So we're actually pushing out POE from the compute as well as data in order to have this simple, easy connectivity for the controller. So it makes it much easier than trying to use USB-based controllers that you know, can work well in smaller spaces where you don't have to extend that USB cable. But looking in this large room that we're in here, boy, that gets much more challenging to try to deploy. Uh, if you want that controller at the end of the table there, whew, that gets tough with USB, right? And trying to extend that. So Ethernet, right? Whew, really long, I think up to 100 meters for Ethernet. Simple to extend, easy to go through conduits, cost effective. So, so that's just one of the examples of how we really custom designed this compute really specifically around a meeting room appliance kind of scenario. Super easy to set up, super easy to manage, and then all available from HP, right? So you're not kind of mixing and matching compute from one vendor with a video bar from somebody else. It's all from HP, because basically what you do is you buy what you're seeing here with the compute and the controller, and then you just match it up with one of our USB video bars. So that gives you their whole audio and video experience, all supported by PolyHP, and away you go, you got everything you need. 
Nice. You know, I think I might have uh, misled the audience for starting out with what's what's behind the scenes, which is the Windows. Don't think of this as a Windows computer. You're not going to plug in your, your 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 keyboard and use it to check your email and, and go to Facebook. It's a lockdown appliance. You know, Windows is the muscles behind it, making it work. But don't don't think of it as a Windows computer. It's a lockdown meeting room, uh, specifically Teams appliance. And, yeah, and, and this is where we plug in that. our computers and our speakers and our, our microphones and whatnot. It gives some of the benefits of Windows of having all that kind of USB connect connectivity to even other kind of non-poly components. If you're, you know, you, especially in our larger space where maybe you want more of a uh, a third-party DSP or something, right? Easy to be able to, to get that connected in. So you get some of the benefits of Windows, but in a much more locked down appliance kind of mode. Nice. So now now i understand this one so let's move on to the other one because i want to understand the difference and it seems like a a similar oops, went to the wrong tab here here we go yeah so another black box right <laughs> um now this one right so like i said we have a lot of customers who prefer that windows appliance approach to meeting spaces we have others who prefer more of an android appliance approach and again it's it's there's there's trade-offs with both around security manageability and other factors but we have a lot of customers who prefer this kind of what you'd think of as a traditional video codec style approach um and so that's what the studio g62 is it had a, it had a previous generation version called the the g7500 which is very very popular and this is kind of our latest gen version but the key difference with this is the way that we are scaling it for our larger spaces right so as we're looking towards wanting to have a room maybe with multiple cameras and a lot of microphones to make sure that everybody's picked up clearly and other devices that are connected that's the way that we really re-architected our approach with the studio g62 and in some ways similar to the mtr windows we just talked about because a lot of it is around ethernet based connectivity what we're calling kind of our modular room or our, our studio net technology where we're using ethernet to connect cameras microphones controllers and other devices in the room trying to as much as we can start to move away from usb because all those challenges that we mentioned and use ethernet throughout that space for much easier and more cost effective and scalable connectivity that's also a lot easier to manage so the g62 is kind of the brain that gets hidden away in the room that's controlling this whole experience connected to your cameras microphones controllers and other um components in the room to deliver that whole experience I see. So, so same basic concept. Just one is is running Windows behind the scene. The other one is running Andrew, Android, and they have different advantages between the two. Exactly. And the other unique thing we have done with this one is, you know, one option we could have taken on the Studio G62 is to make it a much bigger box with a whole bunch of Ethernet ports on it to connect all these devices. But then for some rooms, you're kind of paying for all this connectivity you don't need. You're, you have an, an oversized box you may not need in that room. So instead, what we've done to scale this up is we've actually partnered with Netgear. So they make a great line of Pro AV switches, and we have qualified a couple of their Pro AV specific switches that you use with the Studio G62. That's how you scale up the number of Ethernet ports you need for all these microphones, cameras, and other devices you want to connect in the room. And it's important to have that specific kind of switch because, of course, we know in meeting spaces, right? There's, especially in our bigger rooms like this boardroom that we're in, it's going to be pretty demanding around the experiences that we're delivering in that room. It's got to be super low latency, super high performance. And there are certain protocols that are needed from a networking standpoint that are really, really important to have on that switch. So that's why we call qualified that specific Pro AV class switch and not just your regular PoE switch that may not support some of those protocols. Now that, that's really important because you know one thing we've learned post pandemic, um, still talking about post pandemic, but we're still we're, we're still there is it's not just we have our perfect designed boardroom, the the you know I, I can't help myself I'm going to do it one more time, but but you know this is what all our boardrooms look like so we design a perfect solution for this room with the perfect camera angles and acoustics and put them in every boardroom in America. We have video everywhere, smaller spaces, larger spaces, weirdly shaped spaces, and we can't just and, and you know we could always. And we could always scale up software, but you can't scale up hardware. And I don't want 10 versions of this with, with one with 30 ports and one with 50 ports and one with three ports. And so, so I love the solution of this is what it is. 
with the right amount of ports. And if I need to scale up for, for a really weird room, um, and you showed me this at the booth, uh, you know, we've all seen a Netgear switch before, but this was this had specific software designed to, to work with this. You can always pop in another Netgear switch, and it's so much easier just to use um, Ethernet. Uh, just Just plug in more Ethernet. Just plug them in, and, and they can be long. You don't have to worry. Well, like you said about USB, that's the one. I love USB, but that length limitation is really, even in my small office, there are things I can't do. That's really the biggest hurdle. And that's where if you truly want a more modular solution so that you can scale it to the needs of the specific unique needs of any kind of room or be able to, as we get into the future, start to do you know subdivided rooms, things like that, truly make things modular, that kind of scalability becomes really, really important. It's It just isn't a one size fits all. There are a lot of rooms where you can just take our standard video bar, you drop it in and you're good to go, nice and simple. But for those spaces that need something a little bit different, um, having that kind of modular approach to how you connect everything we think is going to be hugely beneficial. Yeah. And what it basically does, and I love this, is I'm overwhelmed with the idea of thinking of managing six different cameras and 10 different speakers and microphones everywhere in a room. But if I could think of it as just one appliance, I can manage one appliance. And, and this takes all that stuff and it's just one appliance. And we're not even getting into all the software that 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 helps me manage it, but you know, it's it's not just network together. <laughs> you know, there's stuff behind the scenes so that you could actually manage the room and, and have a, an effective meeting. Yeah, exactly. This can really act as that single brain in the room. This is the kind of the thing that you are managing, right? Without worrying about all these disparate devices and all then, you know, that will connect into our polylens cloud management solution to be able to make sure that everything in the room is good to go. So it really helps to, to simplify the manageability story, right? If we're trying to make it easier to deploy, but also easier to manage over time. Okay. I think I made this more complicated than I needed to make it. Now I get it. Now I get it. For a simple space, you get one of those bars that has uh, Teams or Zoom or whatever running right in the bar. You're good to go. For a more complicated space, you set up your cameras, you set up all your peripherals, and then uh, what do you run the Teams on? Yeah, you could bring in a PC and run the teams on a PC and figure out a way to connect all that stuff to the PC. Good luck. Or you can, I want to make up a word, appliancify. <laughs> you know, you could turn your room into an appliance and, and and then you're good to go. Now now I get it. Yeah, you got it. All right, anything else our viewers need to know? Oh, so we announced these in June at Infocom and both are available and shipping now. So... Um, and again, really, this is 2024 is probably the busiest year in our company's history, going back to pre HP in terms of new video launches, new all in one video bars that are running Teams and Zoom and Google Meet, new USB video bars, new appliance type devices like these, new cameras. Uh, so we've already announced a ton this year, and there's more coming this fall. So I guess I would say just stay tuned because you'll be hearing more soon. Nice. Uh, that's exciting. When, you know, when when companies merge, you always wonder what's going to happen. Are we going to lose momentum? And Polly's gain momentum. We have so much. And, and that's usually one way to see what's happening is, are they making anything new? Are they developing? And yeah, y'all y'all been developing. We have, we have a lot new. And as you said, more to come. So we'll have to have you back. Thank you so much. And and uh, uh, I'll put any links. Um, I'll put links in the description below. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for being Thanks here, so Brian. You were great. Yeah. Thank you for having me.